everybody how's it going so today we're going to be doing a quick introduction to the channel video on this Ryobi rotary tool which is Paul Robert Tony 100 Bravo Paul Robert Tony 100 Bravo so please stick around check out the video and I'll see you guys there thank you for watching What is up everybody? How's it going? So today this is going to be an introduction to the channel video. This video is going to show up before the unboxing and specs and weights and measurements videos. Um, this is a new style series of videos I started um, introducing you guys to the, the, the tools and the items that's coming to the channel um, before, you, uh, before the actual unboxing spec and usage videos show up. That way I can upload this video you know, as soon as I'm done with the video and I edit it, I can upload it. You guys can see it the next day. And that way you guys kind of like, these are kind of like sneak peek videos in a sense. So I uh, want to say before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, smush the bell notification icon for future updates. Um, so this is the 18 volt Ryobi precision rotary tool. Um, it is uh, item number 1005. 559-527 model number is Paul Robert Tony 100 Bravo um, I got this free with the Ryobi days that's going on right now it is June uh, for whatever reason that doesn't want to work it is June 13th I got it on June 11th or 12th. Um, I picked up the $99 4 amp hour battery kit that comes with two 4 amp hours and a charger. I got this for free. This is somewhere in the range of about $44 to $59, something like that. Um, now my watch wants to work for some reason. You know, this video, we're just gonna show it to you real quick. So this is, I have one of the batteries on it. This is a bare tool. Um, it did come with a bunch of accessories and a little Ziploc, or a little, yeah, a little Ziploc baggie. I put all the accessories in here. Turn this light on real quick so you guys can see it a little better. Put all the accessories that it came with in here. As well as has holes on the top. Has holes on the top so you can pop your accessories in like that. Well, some of them. Stuff that has wheels and stuff, it will sit perfectly fine, even with some items in it. Um, so that's a nice little uh, option there. Um, this guy goes from variable speed dial from four 4,400 RPMs or revolutions a minute to 23,000 RPMs or revolutions a minute. Um, provides the ability for multiple applications. Onboard storage for easy access while in use. Slim, lightweight, and comfortable grip pen for extended use. 12 various precision rotary tool accessories included. It's 1 8 collet, 0 0.78 pounds. It's like 2 pounds with uh, this battery on it according to the 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 demo and specs video that I did with the weights and measurements. I'm not sure if that's actually 22,000 RPMs. It doesn't sound like 22,000 to me, but it's a nice little rotary tool. To me, that doesn't sound like 4,000 RPMs either. That sounds more like 600, but it's a nice little tool, easy adjustment. You can hold it like a pen if you want, which feels really comfortable in the hand. You can hold it like this if you want. Still also feels comfortable. Easy on off button. Very tactile. Um, and you got your collet lock back here. Turn it and it will, it will slide down when it's in the right position. So if you have it slightly off, 
it will not go down until you turn it and then it slides down it's a nice little unit you could put it in both ways if you wanted to if you wanted to stick it upside down you can most realistic way in my opinion would be to, to, to mount it like that I definitely like it it's a nice little unit um, I have not had a chance to use it yet other than demonstrating it on these videos it does come with your operators manual you get one of these Ryobi cordless 18 volt 1 plus and 40 volt booklets um, as well as the supplemental that shows all the tools um, or most of the tools with their part numbers and chargers stuff like that um, this is just a quick quick video uh, I want to real quick please like comment subscribe smush the bell notification icon for future updates go check out my Amazon affiliate links my Acme tools affiliate links my DJI electronics affiliate links as well as my Ohio power tools affiliate links I also have a link down below for Ulsa Tools. If you click on that link, it will get you 10% off your order at ulsatools.com. As well as it kicks me back 10% off my next order, so it does help me out when you do use the links. Um, all affiliate links don't cost you anything extra. Um, Amazon and all the companies just give me a little cut because you guys use the link. If you do use them, it's very much appreciated. One last thing, want to uh, let you guys know I'm going to be picking up two uh, sheet master jaw horses for personal use as well as we're going to be using them on the channel um, I'm going to start buying wood with some of the money that the channel makes we're going to start doing head-to-head -head videos and, de and demolition videos you know tool usage videos stuff like that um, the tools that I have that can go head-to-head -head, um, or brands as I now have Ryobi 18 volt I might get in the 40 volt I don't know we'll have to see um, if you guys want to provide uh, a tool that you're no longer using by Ryobi for me to do testing on, feel free to contact me in uh, the comments um, and, and or uh, try to get a hold of me on email and uh, we can work something out. You know, if you guys want to send me some tools to do uh, testing on in the videos, say you upgraded a Ryobi tool and you have the old one, I will take it and test it for you guys if you guys want. Um, if you want me to send it back, no big deal. I'll send it back to you guys, no problem. Um, if that's something that you guys were, would be interested in, you guys want to help out with, uh, contact me in the comments below or my email. Um, so the tools that I have available that we can do testing on um, that will be coming up is I have DeWalt, uh, 8 volt, 12 volt, extreme, 20 volt, XR, 100, uh, 60 volt, flex volt, 120 volt, flex volt. I have Milwaukee M12 and M18 brushed and brushless tools. We have Metabo um, 18 volt tools, Metabo HPT or Hitachi power tools variant, 18 volt and 36 volt multi volt of the Metabo HPTs. We have uh, Makita. 12 volt and 18 volt as well as um, 36 volt x2 tools we'll be bringing to the channel also the makita 40 volt and 80 volt tools as well um got some bosch tick 18 volt tools uh bosch or bosch stitch however you want to say it bosch um 18 volt core got uh don't have bosch 12 volt <clears throat> but I also got um, Earthquake XT in 12 volt and 20 volt um, battery platforms. Corded tool. Oh, I, I do have Makita in 7.2 volt and 9 volt as well. Um, also got um, corded tools. We got Bosch, Porter Cable, Black and Decker. I might have some Bosch sticks as well. Um, Makita, Bosch, and a couple other brands, as well as I do have pneumatic tools as well. We could put, you know, pneumatic impact wrenches against battery impact wrenches, you know, see how well they do against each other, you know. Rotary tools, I got Dremel, Ryobi, this one. I got the larger full-size Ryobi. I got Milwaukee. I have, um, Here's the, the Milwaukee 12 volt brushed rotary tool. 
uh, Black & Decker, or Dremel, and a couple other brands for rotary tools. So if those things interest you guys, uh, please smush the bell notification icon for future updates on those upcoming videos. Hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day, and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace!